Maggie Curry knew well before her daughter Brooklyn was born, their family would face a battle. The troops who would fight for her gathered at Cincinnati Children's on Thanksgiving Eve of 2012. I probably had about 40 people in my delivery room. Um, as soon as she came out, we heard one little gurgle of a cry. She was intubated right away and taken straight to surgery. Brooklyn was born with heterotaxy syndrome, a condition in which the position of the heart and other organs are abnormally arranged in the body and sometimes even flipped from one side of the body to the other. Brooklyn's surgery was complex but successful. Four years and another surgery later, Brooklyn waited for her third and hopefully final surgery. Dr. David Morales, a cardiothoracic surgeon at Cincinnati Children's, had a decision to make. Brooklyn had one ventricle. Could he turn it into two ventricles so that she would have normal circulation? Or would she have to live with one ventricle and possibly need a transplant later in life? To find out, Dr. Morales and his colleague, Dr. Ryan Moore, first planned the surgery digitally to determine whether the baffles or pathways that needed to be created would work. So she needed about three or four baffles in order to reroute everything to where it should be going. And the advantage of what we were doing is I could do one baffle and if it didn't work, we would try another baffle. And eventually we figured out how to kind of put this all this puzzle together. But Dr. Morales didn't stop there. Just days prior to surgery, he told the Currys about a virtual reality program that allowed him to step inside Brooklyn's heart. So now I can take the heart and I can move it around. In this case, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I was confident that it would work and we did exactly the way we planned it and it went great. This is your heart before your operation. This you is had. what you were like before your last surgery. Can you believe that? That's so no? incredible. Maggie Curry says her hope for Brooklyn is simply to see her thrive. This technology gives me hope that I will be able to see her into adulthood. And there was a time I didn't think that I may be. What we're trying to do is give hope to children who didn't have hope. So cases where people say things can't be done. Using technology to give them hope and to give them good outcomes is really what we're trying to do.